Hi, I'm Jacqueline Smith, and I'm running for Congress in the 1st District. And I'm here to talk to you today about an economic cycle called the Kondratioff Wave. This is the Kondratioff Wave, and it has a 50-year upswing in the cycle, and then a 50-year downswing in the cycle. So we have growth that occurs during the first and second turning. Each of these turnings lasts about 20 to 30 years. Then there is a drop-off in the economy in the third turning, and then a further drop-off in the fourth turning. Every time we reach a fourth turning in history, we have a lot of political upheaval and a lot of economic problems. This is standard throughout history. This cycle has been correct for 300 generations over the last 3,000 years. So we're not talking about a short time period in history that this has been proven. The, the part of this cycle that we're going to talk about today is the fourth turning. In our founding, during our fourth turning, we had a few things happen. We had the Declaration of Independence sign, and then we moved into the Revolutionary War, and then we went into the Constitutional Convention, and we created something new, a new founding. And what we created looked like this. This is known as federalism. Federalism is when we have a central federal government that has some power, but the power comes from the states that surround it. You'll notice the arrows are going inward. That's because the power comes from the states to the central federal government. This is known as federalism. None of us have ever lived under this, even though this is what our founders created. Shortly after the founders created this, we went through some more turnings. We moved through the turnings again, and we came to the fourth turning. Again, we were in political upheaval and economic problems. We went into the Civil War. This was a very short time period in history for a turning. It lasted only about eight years. After the Civil War, though, we ended slavery, which is a fantastic thing, but we created a new style of government known as nationalism. Nationalism was never even heard until we had the Gettysburg Address publicly. The national government now holds all of the power and gives power to the, the states below it. This national style of government is not what our founders created, but this is what we ended up with after the Civil War. Then we went through the cycle again. This time when we hit the fourth turning, on October 29th, 1929, we had the stock market crash. This catapulted us into the fourth turning. During this fourth turning, we had the Great Depression, a very difficult time for our country. And then we moved on and went into the World War II. After World War II, we ended Nazism, which of course is a good thing, but we ended up with another new style of government. Imagine it just like this, except for now, we've got the IMF, the World Bank, the UN, NATO, GATT, all of these global governances holding pressure over a federal government, and then that federal government putting pressure down on the states. That's globalism. So guess where we are in history? I know you already know this because it feels like it. We're in a fourth turning. Just after 9-11, we began our fourth turning for our generation. We're about 10 years in. It would be nice to tell you that we're just gonna turn this around, everything's gonna be great, but I can't tell you that. We've got a little bit longer before the cycle will end, but here's the great news. We get to start something new, but that all depends on what you choose. We can choose a European style socialist nation, or we can choose liberty. The world is run by those that show up, and we're asking you to show up and participate in government. We need you to put good elected officials at every level of government so that you can decide which you're going to be, a European style socialist nation or a free nation of liberty, the way our founders envisioned it originally. Thanks.